to be seen off by the royal families truly more than we deserve. <laughs> oh, don't concern yourself. Considering what you all accomplished this time, we're in your debt. Oh, your highness. <laughs> As usual, she knows how to please a crowd. <laughs> if we had more time, I would have liked to introduce you to those who were trapped in Michelin. They have all been freed, I trust. Yes, of course. I was able to contact Noel, Chief Sergei, and Dudley. They say Ellie and Speaker McDowell have returned safely to the city. I see. <sighs> what a relief. Oh, Ellie! I've met her before. You said you were going to see her after this. Right, Elisa? That's right. We're planning to discuss economic and technological policies. I've heard a lot of rumors about her, but this will be my first time actually meeting her, so I'm pretty excited. <laughs> I can see the two of you getting along real well. Based on what I've heard, she seems to have a number of hobbies, much like yourself. <sighs> I'm glad to see you've recovered, Sharon. Yeah, me too. It seems like your burns weren't very severe. <laughs> My recovery is due to the thorough care the doctors at St. Ursula gave me. I'm terribly sorry I was unable to be of use to everyone at such a crucial time. Gosh, I already told you, it's fine! Anyway, it seems like Ouroboros has their own weird drama going on. Indeed. The second Anguis is being pursued, and the Phantom Thief kept away. Yes. I guess we'll need to look into what's going on with them a bit more. Are you sure about this, Emma? Is it really okay for Celine to come with us now? <laughs> I should be fine by myself for a while. That aside, you need to figure out how to get that power of yours under control. But don't worry, I'll train you. Alright, thank you. Take care. Let me know if anything comes up. I will. Celine, please take good care of Reen. Yeah, just be careful. You're going to stay in Crossbell for a while, right, Machias? Yeah. This is where the real inspection work starts. I probably need to have a talk with my father as well. And finally, I want to speak with Governor General Rufus about Eusis. <laughs> I see. <laughs> no matter what you say, you two are close, aren't you? <laughs> I'm only doing him a favor now so I can rub it in his face later. <laughs> It went by so quickly. Yeah, but we'll see each other again before long. You're going to stay in Crossbell for a few days too, right, Elisa? Yeah, I'm thinking about heading back with Mother. There are a lot of things I want to ask her about. Those railway cannons, for example. My lady. I see. <laughs> Don't worry. After all, I'm the manager in charge of the development division. Let's each do our part in a way that only Class 7 can. I'm sure this will help us fulfill our promise, too. Alisa. You're right. Yes. Yeah, this is where we need to push through. <laughs> I don't know just how much more assistance I'll be able to give, but I intend to fight to the end in my own way. Also, you have my thanks for going along with the selfish wishes of the wandering bard Olivier Lenheim. We have a lot to thank you for, too. You built the framework for Class 7. And we'd like to continue it in our own way. I'm glad to hear it. I look forward to seeing what all of you accomplish. As for the members of the new Class 7, I'm glad I was able to meet you. I feel the stirrings of a new wind from you all different from your predecessors. Please keep giving it your all. You as well, Tita. Yes! You honor us. Understood. <laughs> we'll do our best. Reen, everyone, please stay safe. This visit made me realize a great many things. Much like all of you, I don't intend to give up either. Princess Alfin. 
It's very reassuring to hear that. <laughs> but that aside, I'm dying to find out whether Reen is going to invite me to dance at the summer festival. Huh? Asking the princess to dance at the summer festival? That means... <laughs> it means one day, he might end up as more than just the princess's dance partner. What? Instructor... Is that how it is? Uh, no, I'm sure Her Highness is just kidding. Right? <laughs> Who knows? <sighs> That's quite enough playing around. You're overreacting too, Rain. Um... Alisa, Emma, Machias, thank you so much for helping my brother. As his sister, I'm truly happy to see your bonds with him have grown even stronger. <laughs> Elise. <laughs> thank you, too. Hmm, you really have grown so much since I last saw you, Elise. <laughs> we have to make sure we don't get left in her dust. Ah, uh, alas, it's true. It really is no fun teasing her lately. But... That makes catching her with her guard down all the sweeter. Oh... Also, everyone from the branch campus. I'm so sorry I wasn't able to properly greet you. But I'm planning to visit your campus sometime and say hello. Oh, really? <laughs> You're welcome anytime. <laughs> yeah, more than welcome. I wish to make amends. So I'll be waiting for you. Make amends for what, exactly? Man, they sure do remind me of our group, huh? Yes. I'm a little envious. But I still believe we can get back what we've lost. Of course. Let's keep working at it, Tio Tot. If you say so, Randy. Too later. Say hi to mom and dad for me. I'll send lots of letters. So be good and take care. Okay? Okay. See you later, Yuna. Bye bye, Craig and Ali. We'll see you again sometime. Farewell. Are you sure it's all right for you to come back with us? Shouldn't you stay in Crossbell? <sighs> yeah. I was appointed to the branch campus because of a recommendation from the Governor General. I know the real reason behind it. That's why I've been dodging it. But uh, once I heard Shirley and the Red Constellation were creeping around in the Empire, I felt like I had no choice but to accept. What an awful thing to have happen. The Governor General was trying to send you as far away as possible so he couldn't interfere. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. But maybe it was the right thing to do anyway. Huh? Both on the surface and behind the scenes, Crossbell's mixed up in everything that's about to go down in Erebonia. So, I might as well give some covering fire. From way over in the Empire in a little town called Leaves. While I keep the students there in line. I'm glad. It's the same with me. Just like Randy said, if something happens to Erebonia, Crossbell will get dragged into it too. So for my family's sake, and the sake of everyone else in Crossbell, I decided to protect my home. In a different way from Lloyd and the others. And now, 
I feel like maybe there's a future. Where people from both Crossbell and Erebonia can laugh together as friends. Now I'm really, really glad. I see. You're certainly impressive. Compared to the way you were the other day, you're a completely different person now. <laughs> you're gonna make something of yourself, Uni. I can tell. Hey! Are you all just making fun of me? Meow. <laughs> <laughs> mm, yeah. You're too good at this. Huh? Is that? Yuna! Randy! Rain! Fine blade of wind, too. <laughs> Guess they were able to break out of the birdcage, huh? Your rank has increased. Here's your reward. How commendable. A gift from His Majesty. Accept it with gratitude. The top score. <laughs> Excellent. I see. So Marquis Rogner will be absent as well. I take it this means House High Arms will be the only one of the four great houses in attendance. Would that it were different. For all of his faults, Marquis Rogner is a man of principle. Which makes his continuing house arrest for his actions during the Civil War all the more unfortunate. One can't be too careful with a man who can lead his own militia. Though compared to the Governor General of Crossbell, he's a mere child playing with toys. Useless. Sorry. Just idle thoughts. By the by, what kind of man is this Marquis Ballad? Every bit the man the rumors make him out to be. Foolhardy and greedy, but dangerously savvy when it comes to matters of personal gain. I can't even imagine how his presence will disrupt our conference, and I'm unfortunate enough to be his caretaker. <laughs> well, with your father there, I can't imagine he'll be too much of a terror. Marquis High Arms tends to have a sobering effect on people. Very true. My father does not suffer fools gladly. But after the recent incidents in Crossbell and Sutherland, there's no telling what to expect. You would do well to exercise caution yourself. <laughs> you hardly need to remind me. Besides, I'm going to be among people I trust. That's right. 
I suppose the conference does overlap with the branch campus's field exercises. Something else for me to look forward to. It will be a pleasure to see Class One's former rivals reunited after all. Lord Eusus, your visitor has arrived. Ah, yes. Let her in. Right this way, young lady. <laughs> Thanks! How's it going, Eusus? Long time no see! <laughs> Hello, Milliam. You're a little late. Hey! It's not my fault it takes so long to get approved. Why do I need to get permission every time I want to see you anyway? The reason should be obvious, given each of our positions. Yeah! Hey! Dodging's no fair! Sometimes I fear you'll never learn. You're 15 now, aren't you? Would it kill you to act a bit more ladylike? Oh, hell. <laughs> gotcha. Get off me. You can't just jump on someone in an outfit like that. Oh, you want to compare fashion notes, Mr. Fancy Haircut? But fine, if it keeps you from getting any more wrinkles. Just get off. Tilly and I had earlier. You know, the children in town are starting to act more like you. Why do I get the feeling you've been teaching them? Well, we have been hanging out a little. Every time I come visit you, I get to know them a little better. They're all really good kids. Hmm. That they are. So what if she was artificially created? She's just like any other girl. Aside from her complaints about not getting taller anyway. Shrumping on your mind? <laughs> not at all. So, how are things on your end? As for me, my schedule remains unchanged. All right. Even with all the crazy stuff that's happened, I should be good to go. <laughs> are you excited? You and me going on vacation. <laughs> I suppose the place is so pretty that it would feel like a vacation. Even if we're walking into what is essentially a carnival of villainy. <laughs> You've got a way with words, Eusis. <sighs> I just wish I had access to more information. Even if most of the classified stuff is just about nobles and the Bracer Guild. I wouldn't worry about it. That's standard operating procedure for the Intelligence Division. Though, I imagine your status as an Ironblood gets you more leeway than others. Still, if I had the same clearance as Lecter, I could be so much more helpful to everyone from Class 7. Reen, Elisa, and Machias seem to have it especially tough. B and Sarah, though, I think they can take care of themselves. You don't have to worry about taking care of any of us. Besides, the fact that you're a part of Class 7 means so much more to us than any political favor you could offer. Uh. <laughs> I'm giving you another hug. No, you are not. Wait, what's that sound? Ah, it must be Class 7 related. I wonder what happened. No way! Could it be? Been a while, Eusis. Oh, and Milliam is with you too. Gaius!
Wow, they're really going at it. I figured Needhog would be good, but the other guys are no slouches themselves. Betcha they'll give us a pretty good fight. They've both been in shambles ever since the Civil War. A dragon lost its head. And as for the other group, well... <laughs> Guess this makes it a fight neither side can afford to lose. I'd like to have a battle with a certain someone myself. You wouldn't be talking about little old me now, would you? Easy now, Blitz. I'm unarmed, see? I should be the one on edge here. Sorry, but I'd rather not take any chances. Not with someone who can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Lord Balder. Aw, oh, lighten up! Can't you relax around an old drinking buddy? <laughs> I think Daddy might be the only person who could drink with you and not be nervous. That said... This is pretty weird. I saw you and Uncle Balder kill each other with my own eyes. And now you're here. Does this have something to do with that cool purple shadow thing? <laughs> Who can say? Seriously though, you don't really want to start a fight in a place like this, do you? The two of you against little old me? I'd have zero chance of winning. You're real funny, old man. But I get it. We're all just observers this time. So, once you get things squared away with your business, come pay us a visit. We'll be waiting. Excuse us, Yeager King. <laughs> really had me sweating there. Old man like me wouldn't stand a chance against all that youthful exuberance. Don't you think? <laughs> I'm just talking to myself. Don't let it spook you. The Colonel, your dad, took good care of me back in the day. Introduced me to my favorite brand of smokes. <laughs> By the way, I meant to thank you for taking care of Fee. Chasing us from battlefield to battlefield's all well and good, but raising that kid right is what really matters. Even if you're practically a kid yourself. just like three years ago. Colonel. I haven't heard that in a while. Bloody Shirley. No, the Sanguine Ogre. She had to have noticed me too. Ah, oh, I've been off the front lines for too long. Meanwhile, Fee's been picking up skill after skill. I'm really starting to feel my age. Wait, what am I saying? I'm only 27. Well, almost 28, but... Either way, I'm too young to be old. <clears throat> okay, Sarah, focus. We've got two of the strongest Jaeger cores, the dragons and these Jaegers in purple, battling it out. One way or another, things are gonna come to a head, for me and for the kids. And you know, even if he is a far cry from the Viscount, I have to admit, the Jaeger King is a real fox. Mm.
Well, someone's early for a change. <laughs> Basking in its glory? Even I was surprised when I first saw it. Yeah. I hear there's another one in a place called Nord. Yes. Just about the same size, too. Even though it's a very different shape. Wait, is something bothering you? No. I don't sense any power within this thing. It's nothing but a shell. Just makes me wonder where the insides went. Insides? Sorry we're late. Have you been a good girl, Dubali? Took you too long enough. I said sorry. Oh, the almighty conflagration is with you. My, are we interrupting something intimate? Don't even joke about that. I would never. Especially not with some lazy, irresponsible bum like him. <laughs> never is right. No man could ever sway a little lord's pet like her. Well, aside from maybe that Ashen kid, isn't he your type? Oh. Dear me. Uh, absolutely not! And what do you mean, Lord's pet? If anything, Mick Byrne, you don't have enough respect for the Anguis. <laughs> I guess that makes two of us. It's you. It has been a while, fool. When was the last time? The Crossbell incident? <laughs> I believe so. Though we've all been busy roaming across the continent, so I won't hold it against you. With that, all of us who were stationed to the west are here. Except Shirley, that is. Yeah, the crazy ogre chick's off getting a read on the front lines. The thought of her off on her own scares me a little. But we have preparations to make. Before our beautiful and proud lord arrives. There's no need for that. <gasps> My lord. <laughs> I didn't expect you to arrive so early. M My lord. I'm so glad you're here. <sighs> I didn't think I would get to see you so soon. <laughs> Nor did I. I thought we had several days left to wait. Did something change among the Anguis? Yes. The Oathbreaker and Lady Mariabel decided to take on Arteria. And the Professor completed the final Ion earlier than planned. <laughs> Sounds like he's been working hard. <laughs> He probably didn't like what happened to his last one. Ah, Campanella and McBurn. How long has it been? About a year? <laughs> Sounds about right. Still wearing that clunky helmet of yours, I see. There's a nice breeze right now, so why don't you take it off? McBurn! How dare you say that to our lord? <laughs> now, now, Duvali. He's no subject of mine. Since we're ahead of schedule, why don't we have a little duel? If you can manage to tear this helm from my head, I'll be able to feel the lovely breeze you mentioned. Nah, <laughs> I'm good. Not because I think I'll lose, but because I don't think I can actually win. Just like all of our other fights. What? <laughs> You're right. Although, the outcomes may have been different had you taken my sword lessons more seriously. Damn it. Don't treat me like I'm Luve. <laughs> Just what is their relationship? Now, let us begin. The third of our experiments to reclaim the Phantasmal Blaze Plan. To determine whether or not a vessel can gain power through combat. 